everyone. Assalamualaikum and very good morning to all of you. So I would like to welcome uh, to our Discovering Insurance show. Uh, we have numerous before this uh, that we have managed and today we have another special guest. But before that, I would like to share with you uh, Discovering Insurance show is actually meant to give you exposure about different roles and responsibility in this, in this industry with our expert and professional. So, um, without further ado, let's greet our special guest, which is Dr. Haja Malina Zukifli, the head of medical um, at Prudential BSN Takaful Berhad. Hi, Doctor. Hi, Shaira. Assalamualaikum. Apa khabar? <laughs> Baik, Doctor. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Alhamdulillah. Okay, I feel very honored to have you in this house. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so, Doctor, before we proceed with um, our segment, mm -hmm. I would like to share with the audience about your a bit about your background. Okay, boleh. Okay, so Dr. Haja Marina is a medical graduate and began her career as clinical doctor for several years before she joined uh, insurance or the careful industry. So with eight year experience in this industry, Dr. Haja contribute in various aspects of insurance operations such as claim, underwriting, marketing and branding, HR and business continuity management. And that's all has led her to her current role, which is the head of medical management. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Dr. Haja also played a pivotal role in developing the clinical capability within PAWS. Okay. PAWS is Prudential Apps. She is also actively promoting the Takaful Awareness Agenda. And when we talk about her uh, interests, it includes AI modernizations uh, of medical coverage prevention and postponing disease. Hmm. So in her free time, Dr. Ajar enjoy working with NGOs and helps those who are displaced and unfortunate. So I think that is a short introduction about Dr. Ajar. So Thank we would like to know more, Dr. <laughs> Thank you, Shara. I'm very honoured to be here. Uh, thanks for having me again. <laughs> okay, no problem with that. We're also honoured to have you. So we will start with uh, the first segment, which is rapid uh, fire questions. Okay. So. Okay, so um, yeah, let's go. <laughs> so, Doctor, when we talk about your experience, uh, you have like several years of experience in this industry. Can you share with us um, about your favorite part of you doing your current job? Okay, okay, thanks, Shahira, for the first question. So, the favorite part uh, in my job is actually meeting people, okay. you know, meeting new people, whether it's within the organization. Mm -hmm. Um, ataupun dengan, uh, you know, external parties lah. So, mm -hmm. I work with a lot of health providers, um, local and overseas. So, it's nice to see, you know, what kind of business that they do, uh, you know, different different people mm -hmm. and, um, you know, um, you know, meeting them and just, just you know, um, so socialize with them and then ada juga um, yang kita jumpa outside of work, you know, uh, because uh we uh like the networking and we would like to know about you know what are the things that they do in their work in their business so mm -hmm. um you know i got a lot of new friends lah basically networking mm -hmm. yeah that is that's interesting actually we learn from other people betul, as well betul. Mm -hmm. okay um when we talk about your current role as a medical a management head potential right mm -hmm. um some certain job we needs like skills and personality trait mm. or maybe strength uh, like uh, when or like a singer they needs the talents to perform on the stage so okay. in your side <laughs> <laughs> so what is actually the skills and personality trait that best fits uh, this job okay so for for a doctor or for mm -hmm. a person who uh, you know who are uh, doing um, medical support mm -hmm. in insurance or takafu industry first and foremost um, you know um, at, uh, especially if they are at working level, mm -hmm. they need to have certain degree of uh, technical knowledge lah. So technical knowledge tu kena, kena kuat dulu. And then as you grow, you know, as you climb the corporate ladder, uh, usually you will need more skills lah. Kan macam, I think the general ones lah, Shaira, macam communication skill, leadership skill, mm -hmm. and how you manage your people, how you manage um, negotiate crisis and all that. Uh, itu kena, 
uh, kena kena ada lah. Yeah. And then um, especially in insurance industry, tapi dia lebih kurang juga dengan healthcare. Okay. You need to be risk conscious. Oh, kan, okay, yeah. you know like in insurance kan or in takapukan we are very uh, heavily regulated kan yeah, uh, Sama maybe. juga yeah. macam healthcare tau, you need to you know um, You need to understand the risk that you are taking you know when you are delivering treatment Ataupun you are diagnosing your patient So walaupun you know risiko tu dalam bidang yang berbeza Tapi the level of intensity and pressure tu is the same And the level of awareness tu sama lah, lebih okay. kurang mm. Oh, okay, that's uh, very good to know about that. So uh, let's move to the uh, quite fun question. Okay, okay. Uh, you can have like four uh, people in a dinner party. So four people in okay. the world will be on your invite list. Okay, saya bayar ke MII? Yeah, <laughs> so, but list that I cover based on the list. <laughs> okay, so I uh, personally I like um. Barack Obama, okay, okay the, as, the, as uh, US president, yeah, president uh-huh. okay, and then I uh, suka uh, masak. Maybe okay. I didn't mention it to you before. Okay. <laughs> I suka masak, so uh, I look up to Chef Wan. So okay. I not I not have one to one session lah. Me too. Uh, dengan Chef Wan, I like to see him talking about mm-hmm. food, about ingredients. Uh, fantastic, and then um. Third person, I uh, would like to have uh, uh, arwah Tan Sri P. Ramli mm-hmm. because I like his music, I like his um, products, movies, semualah I suka. Um, and then, but unfortunately, dia dah tak ada lah yeah, kan? Betul. And so, kita just dengar lagu and appreciate uh, movie dia lah. And then, um, I would like to have someone who I look up to, uh, which is our Tun Mahathir. Okay. Tuan Mahathir. Sebab uh, dia uh, sebenarnya adalah seorang doktor uh, tapi yes, dia yes. menceburi yes, bidang politik lah. So uh, I suka tengok how he blend in you know even though dia uh, menjadi seorang prime minister atau ahli politik macam sometimes dalam nasihat dia ada nasihat berunsurkan kesihatan, okay. kemasyarakatan mm-hmm. yang dekat dengan uh, diri seorang doktor lah. Especially mm. the, uh, he is the same line with you kan? Mm. Boleh relate. Boleh relate kan? <laughs> yeah. uh, Kalau lah boleh ada empat orang ni kan makan dengan saya memang. <laughs> oh. okay. okay. Out of uh, this four, four all I know. <laughs> okay, good, good. <laughs> Cuma uh, Piramli je. We okay. doesn't uh, have the chance to meet so, him lah kan. Mm. So um, uh, next question is about the the advice. Sometimes we got advice that we really value mm. and we really preserve in deep in our heart. Mm. So from your side, what is actually the best advice that you receive from okay. other people that you preserve? Mm-hmm. Okay. So this advice is from uh, my CEO, my current CEO, Encik Wan. So Encik Wan in one of the um, town hall, lah, he said that, you know, um, time management is very important, kan? Mm, especially, yeah. you know, like us, kita nak juggle, you know, between family, anak, between uh, kerja juga, kan, our career. So how do we uh, make sure that we use our time efficiently? Uh, unfortunately, we are not perfect lah. We cannot, uh, apa ni, fulfill uh, semua uh, hati semua orang kan. Mm-hmm. Jadi senangnya kita uh, divide kan empat kategori of our time into five uh, primary goals lah. Okay. Okay, yang pertama work, yang oh. second um, family, yang third friends, yang fourth sleep and fifth fitness. Okay. Uh, fitness yang paling kantoi sekali lah <laughs> kan. Selalu orang memang alah, malas lah kan. Uh, tapi untuk uh, apa ni kehidupan yang lestari lah ataupun yang yang uh, sempurna, kita kena ada lima goal ni. Tapi unfortunately mengikut kajian, cuma tiga sahaja yang kita boleh fulfill pada hmm. masa-masa tertentu lah. Yeah, because the time constraint. Because of kita hmm. cuma ada 24 jam sahaja. Yeah, Kalau sahaja. kita ada lebih, mungkin kita boleh uh, fulfill yang kelima-lima ni lah. Uh-huh. Jadi, uh, tips yang diberikan oleh Encik Wan adalah pilih tiga uh, apa ni, goal utama dalam uh, hari tu atau dalam minggu tu hmm. ataupun dalam tahun tu uh, tergantung target kita lah. 
Jadi kita gunakan uh, apa ni tiga target ni untuk menentukan apa fokus masa kita lah. So that would help us how to manage our time. Yeah, I that's, think that's a good advice. Yeah, that's good advice. I think so. Okay, Doctor, we have question from audience. Boleh? Okay, uh, we take it from uh, Putri Lily Aiza Mengkat Adelai. Hi, Doctor Hajar. With the upcoming fasting month and your passion for cooking, what would be some <laughs> of the recommendation healthy dishes for berbuka, Doctor? Okay, I think this is very interesting question. <laughs> Terima kasih, Puan Putri. Okay, uh, and yes, I like cooking. <laughs> and yeah, Alhamdulillah, we are going into Ramadan in the apa tu, second of, uh, third, third of third, April, third, kan? Uh -huh. So, insyaAllah. Jadi, uh, saya rasa uh, untuk bulan Ramadan, kalau juadah berbuka tu, always always we have to go by the pyramid makanan lah. Karbohidrat kena ada, protein, sayur uh, you know, uh, I don't think there's any different to you know, normal non-fasting man, you tetap kena kekalkan ambil, uh, ambil apa tu uh, juadah dengan dengan sewajarnya lah maksudnya kena kurangkan makanan yang manis-manis, lepas tu um, uh, hydration lah I rasa minum water tu kena Super. kena top up balik hmm, kan yeah. yang siang tu kita tak ni. Okay, uh, I think that would be the general answer <laughs> for this lah kan. When hmm. talk about healthy, I just thinking about apa? Suku-suku separuh. Kuih-kuih oh, okay. tu. Kuih-kuih, <laughs> yelah yeah, kan. Kuih-kuih dekat -kuih bazaar dan sebagainya. Hmm. Uh, ya, yeah. sedap tapi kena kontrol lah kan. Yeah, kan tu. Hmm. So, we have another question from E. Mikoy. <coughs> Okay, why did you make a change to change your career from clinical doctor to insurance line? Okay. I think I would like to cover, tapi tak dah tanya. So, doctor. We do it now? Ah, yeah. Okay, Then. okay. Okay, so uh, I think this is a uh, popular question lah. So, uh, I think a lot of people when I see them and I tell them that I'm working in insurance or takapul industry, mm -hmm. they'll say, um, what do you do there? You know, why do you change your work and mm -hmm. things like that lah. So, uh, when I was working um, initially in clinical, I uh, find out that uh, my passion is in non-clinical. So, okay, when I say non-clinical, clinical, maknanya uh, aplikasi, uh, knowledge clinical, tapi da bukan dalam bidang diagnosing Uh, pesakit ataupun mm -hmm. memberikan rawatan mm -hmm. yang macam kita tengok dekat hospital tu kan. Yeah. Uh, jadi <laughs> I, I tak berapa minat that that uh, that part and then I start reading uh, some of the opportunities in non-clinical. So masa tu tak banyak tau mm -hmm. Syaira. So I was looking around and uh, masa tu saya berjumpa dengan a few friends lah. They are doctors and they are working with insurance and takaful industry. So they were telling me about it and Um, okay. I thought I would, you know, give it a go uh, sebab saya minat dengan um, health economics. Uh, saya minat dengan um, uh, apa ni, cara-cara sesebuah negara tu mentadbir bidang mm -hmm. kesihatan, macam mana dia menentukan bajet dan sebagainya. Tapi nak kerja tu, nak kerja dengan tu, nanti saya kena hantar uh, resume dekat kerajaan <laughs> Malaysia kan. Jadi saya fikir, oh saya mungkin join satu company Uh, di mana saya boleh praktiskan passion ataupun knowledge yang uh, saya ada. Uh, jadi sebab tu saya join uh, insurance ataupun takaful industri lah. Okay. Memang sesuai dengan minat yeah. saya dan Alhamdulillah macam yang Cik Syahira mention tadi, saya dah uh, tahun yang ke-8 lah. So oh, yeah. saya amat minat dan sa suka sangat dengan enjoy. industri. Uh, uh, enjoy yeah, the sangat. most important I think mm -hmm. the patience kan. Once yes. we have the patience, we can make yeah. everything. So that's why if I can uh, tambah, uh, uh, yes, um, yes, actually can. for doctors right, um, for for you guys to join the uh, the insurance industry, uh, you kena ada passion and you kena, kena ada minat macam yang I mentioned tadi and Um, it's not for everyone because dalam bidang ni tak tak banyak sangat clinical work yang you buat banyak mm -hmm. uh, pentadbiran administration management and all that lah so kalau you minat the application of clinical knowledge tapi uh, dalam bidang administration i think this will be the perfect um, you know industry for you tapi kalau you sangat sangat minat berjumpa patient you know mm -hmm. diagnosing and all that um, you know you Uh, teruskan dengan kerja dekat hospital lah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The most important is passion uh, kan? Yeah, yeah. passion and uh, 
considerations. Mm. Yeah, make make the consideration. Okay, uh, um, I will continue with uh, like um, healthy work life balance. People say about uh, this, right? Um, I also agree with healthy work life balance. Yeah, I think it is very important in order to taking care of our mental, Don't. emotional, and also physical. So, in your perspective, what is a healthy work life balance? Okay. okay, so sama kita sama. I'm a true believer okay. of uh, work life balance as well. And um, uh, tapi tapi itulah Syaira sebab work from home ni it's difficult eh. Suka sikit untuk kita menentukan kat mana kita mm. punya stop tu kan. Okay. So um, I will try to do a hard stop. Um, macam pukul 6 atau pukul 7 saya akan try untuk untuk stop mm -hmm. uh, kerja and then uh, sambung besok lah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, okay. kita akan ambil masa uh, weekend untuk spend time dengan family, uh, dengan kawan-kawan because they, they are important to me yeah. as a person, right? Yeah, they are important. Uh, and then uh, once a while kita akan pergi holiday atau vacation just to, you know, refresh and just yeah. to rest and all that lah. I think uh, it is important to have like stop and refresh, uh, you know? Betul? And then we come and back And then you come stronger. back stronger <laughs> and you thinking about the next vacation. <laughs> Oh, that's vacation. Okay. So, okay. Um, okay. Um, let's me. Uh, uh, let's. Uh, I move to the uh, to my question first. Later on, I will take uh, from the audience. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, you know, uh, reading. Uh, when I watch like World Economic Forum videos, it says that when we read more, we empathize more. Mm. So I think I also agree with it because we see in other perspective other ideas, other perspectives. So, um, can you share okay. about something that you read or maybe you listen to podcasts? Okay. Yeah. Yes, yes. So, if I can be honest with you, I'm not a book person. Uh -uh. Okay, I'm not a book okay. person. I don't really uh, doing a lot of reading lah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, saya lebih kepada visual. I'm a visual person. Mm -hmm. So, I watch um, YouTube. I watch documentaries yeah. um, and I enjoy you know watching things about traveling about food um you know so sekarang kat youtube kan ramai yang vlogging about yeah. food and traveling so uh, that's what i like to see lah mm -hmm. on the tv nowadays um kalau i boleh share you know some of the things yang um you know um recently i read about you know traveling to uh japan and then learn japanese at the same time and learn japanese cooking so yeah i suka lah tengok i i would like to do that if i have the chance and yeah. the budget for it okay <laughs> nothing wrong with like watching ke ataupun listening yes. mm. as long as it's source of information information and kan? we can get benefits Agreed. from that kan? so um I know you from from the ancient BSN. Okay. Can you share the biggest strength of okay. your current company? Okay. So, uh, sebelum saya jawab ke ProBSN, uh, ProBSNers yang uh, tengah tengok saya sekarang, tolong bagi thumbs up, like <laughs> and share this video. Okay. Yes, you can do that. Okay. So, um, <laughs> macam Syaira cakap tadi kan, Pro, uh, saya dengan ProBSN dah uh, 8 tahun. So, I think the biggest strength of the company is the branding lah. We are the number one takaful operator mm -hmm. in Malaysia okay. uh, for many, many years. So um, that's the main strength. And number two is the talent lah of the mm -hmm. company. I think uh, selama 8 tahun saya kerja dengan Probes and I think they have many, um, you know, talented and skillful people. I learn a lot uh, from them. Macam saya fresh daripada hospital, tak tahu apa-apa pasal insurance. So, you know, they need to teach me from scratch. So, they are very patient, very giving mm -hmm. uh, people. So, that's that's what I like lah about, about ProBS. And, oh, that, mm. is, that is interesting, you know. Mm. Tellers is um, one of the important source. Mm. So, I will take uh, one question from audience. Honey, Honey asks you about what's your view about intermittent fast, fasting. Can this be practiced by all group of people? Okay, <laughs> this is not uh, related to our topic. Yeah, yeah. Tapi dengan izin kalau saya boleh jawab. Short one. Short, okay. Eh? short. Okay, uh, mungkin kita bu you boleh apa ni tanya. Uh, oh, mungkin saya boleh jawab pendek eh, uh, Cik Hani. IF, uh, to be honest, uh, I think tak banyak lagi uh, research yang uh, apa ni approve IF. Tapi uh, saya rasa ramai orang yang melalui testimoni lah. Uh, Orang cakap personal 
experience IF uh, mereka buat IF dan berjaya turunkan beratlah uh, tapi kalau uh, berkenaan dengan research tu I think it's still ongoing lah in terms of you know approval and all that and number two can this be practiced it's not unfortunately for everyone sama juga macam kalau during fastiman kan sometimes orang yang gastric atau orang yang ada masalah diabetes kena berjaga-jaga sebab masalah gula yang tak menentulah jadi mm-hmm. mungkin IF ni tidak sesuai untuk golongan yang ni lah. Mm. Okay. okay thank you doctor for answering that questions I think okay <laughs> like uh, apa? research uh, more on um, on the right source that we have uh, online mm. so uh, let's move to the next questions doctor boleh um, what is actually the best career decisions that you have ever made? I think you have the answer. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got it. <laughs> so transition. I, yeah, transition yeah, daripada, okay. I think that is the best decision and I I, I wish that have uh, I have uh, done it earlier. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, tapi I also uh, apa ni, appreciate lah the experience that I had in the clinic, in the hospitals. Uh, which built me as a person lah today kan Kalau saya terus jam masuk insurance Mungkin uh, different lah dia punya experience tu kan mm-hmm. So I think one of the pivotal you know uh, Transition is that one okay. From clinical to insurance Yeah, because <laughs> see see how passionate you are uh, That is I think uh, wise decisions that doctor have ever made Okay uh, I think I covered uh, lots of from the rapid fire questions that move to industry and works related. Mm. Okay, uh, doctor, uh, medical management. I really and un- I'm not really un- uh, familiar with that. Can you Understand? share a bit about what is actually medical management in this? Okay, mm. so as a medical management uh, team. Uh, okay, in my company, what we do is we are part of operations. Okay. Okay, we support operations, claims, underwriting in mm-hmm. terms of the decision, underwriting and claims uh, payout decisions. We also support uh, branding and marketing mm-hmm. because as a Takapu company, we are very passionate about telling people to stay healthy, kan? Yeah, Macam I cakap tadi, pre, uh, apa ni, disease prevention and yeah, complication postponing, it's one of the agenda lah. Mm-hmm. Usually, kalau insurance atau Takapu industry akan, you know, um, give out this kind of message. So, usually, mm-hmm. I will help them with the messaging uh, and then, ataupun kita buat webinars atau training for our agents and then, um, apa lagi? Uh, kita juga um, Meng, uh, apa ni meng, memperelokkan lah uh, hubungan dengan panel hospital dengan panel uh, doctors mm-hmm. kan sebab they are our partners okay. in providing services to our uh, clients our uh, our customers kan so we want to make sure that we have good relationship with them mm-hmm. as well lah mm. oh i see that is uh, new to me okay. uh, it's not only uh, like um, take the protections it's also covered like you must prevent yourself from getting yes, infected uh, or yes, disease. Yes, yes. I think macam, um, you know, um, for from uh, insurance perspective lah, we want our customer to be healthy, but mm-hmm. uh, when you need the coverage, uh, for yeah. example, yeah, yeah, we will help you, but in mm-hmm. the long run, we are uh, life partner lah. Uh, life partner ni selalu husband wife eh tapi <laughs> insurance pun ikut sekali lah orang ketiga eh uh, yang bersama-sama dengan uh, anda sekiranya ada masalah atau perlukan bantuan dari sudut uh, untuk funding kesihatan lah. Yeah. Hmm. When we talk about medical cost and inflation I think um, hmm. our saving also doesn't enough kan doctor. Hmm. Okay hmm. Uh, saya tambah lagi satu okay, another boleh. thing also we also look at you know, product development and product designing to make sure that our product is competitive mm-hmm. and, you know, relevant lah. Contohnya untuk uh, COVID-19 kan. Mm-hmm, yeah. So, uh, you know, the the product people in the company need to be fast, you know, thinking how can we protect uh, our public or our customers on COVID-19, for example. Dan in future, kita tak tahu kan banyak lagi penyakit-penyakit yeah, penyakit yang akan ada ataupun yang akan obsolete lah yang hmm. tel, apa ni telah uh, ter apa kita panggil ah uh, telah hilang eh telah <laughs> hilang ah uh. jadi kita kena pastikan produk semua up to date dan sebagainya yeah. yeah okay that's very great 
uh, to know about that. So, uh, Doctor, um, because of the transitions that you made, I think lots of uh, trainings and professional development that uh, we must invest, okay. I believe. So, uh, how you invest yourself in terms of that? Okay. So, generally, um, as a doctor who supports a, uh, apa ni, a insurance, a mm -hmm. insurance ataupun tak company, it will depend on the scope of work. Macam tadi, I cakap, you actually need to support across the company kan. Tapi for example, ada certain-certain uh, doktor juga yang uh, dia support uh, claims 100% ataupun dia support, you know, certain segment in the um, operations. For example, hmm. they support uh, underwriting 100%. So they need to have authority or they need to have professional certificates lah for them to be able to support the specific department lah. Mm -hmm. Kan? Uh, macam I ni rojak-rojak Semua kena, <laughs> kena Kena tahu lah So But I know some of the doctors In in the industry They support Specific department So You know They are They need to do Certification lah mm -hmm. uh, Selain daripada tu juga uh, I mean of course Macam I cakap tadi Leadership uh, Communication And all that All that kind of trainings Are important oh, shows, yeah. Important And the company needs to support lah The staff kan To make sure that we, I mean, the staff are, apa ni, are, are fully trained. There mm. are platforms for them to go for trainings and all that. Alhamdulillah, untuk ProBSN, ada banyak sangat training macam mm. leadership program and all that yang saya dah buat lah untuk, you know, make sure that I have, you know, the appropriate skills lah. Mm. So that's meet uh, Dr. Hajar today. <laughs> <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so uh, next questions. Uh, because you have several experience, can you share about the culture in the in this industry? Okay, so in general, culture in insurance ataupun takaful, because we are heavily regulated again mm -hmm. by banks, uh, central bank and all that, I like that, uh, you know, the people, the staff in the insurance um, or takaful um, industry, they are uh, risk conscious. Okay, mm, the yeah. what apa-apa sangat detail and meticulous because we want to make sure that there is no mistake or we reduce the risk lah to minimum kan we optimize we we apa tu uh, minimize the risk. So I think that is the main culture uh, in Takaful or insurance lah, which is uh, very detail and very risk risk conscious lah. Mm. Mm, okay, so we have to give hundred percent focus. Oh, focus, <laughs> focus, yeah, kan? focus, 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 focus on that. Yeah. Okay. Agree. Mm. So, uh, Doctor, I take one question from the audience. That, uh, uh, she says, Hi, Doctor, how you manage your mental health during uh, this pandemic and soon endemic? Okay. Okay. Uh, Puan Liza, thanks for your question and thanks for thanks for tuning in. Kan, Chaira, thanks uh, for apa ni, dropping a question. Okay. Um, macam tadi kita ada cakap pasal mental health, especially during pandemic and working from home. Macam for myself, um, I done work from home since we even before we started the pandemic. Oh, okay. So you know, um, the company is very good lah in terms of supporting, uh, supporting the staff, uh, letting us to have the equipment kan for us to be able to work from home and all that. Um, so dari segi tu, uh, I think um, it's good because we are able to work from home. Uh, stress stress free lah tak payah tak payah risau pasal you know the uh, look yeah the no the the equipment the tools oh, yeah. tools tu dah being taken care of yeah, uh, okay. and and then uh, I rasa macam uh, for mula-mula kita work from home tu kita happy lah sebab we we uh, macam you cakap lah we just roll out of the bed and then just duduk dekat meja buat kerja kan <laughs> macam tu lah lebih kurangnya kan tak payah risau pasal nak nak bersiap kan nak, <laughs> nak drive and all that. So um, mula-mula tu happy but after that bila MCO tu bersambung-sambung kemudian uh, work from home tu pun bersambung orang-orang uh, macam saya lah especially yang very social ni uh, mulalah rasa rasa stress kan. So um, I think some of the things lah yang I do is macam I cakap tadi mm -hmm. I watch uh, YouTube, I watch um, apa ni documentaries, uh, rancangan masak-masak ke <laughs> okay and then I also you know cook at home and 
uh, do some gardening kan ramai yang dah, dah, dah apa ni start gardening lah start oh, memasak yeah. kan masa MCO <laughs> uh, saya tak terkecuali lah so kita terpaksa buat something else lah untuk bagi mind kita tak fikir sangat kan pasal tu mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. too much um, too much pressure is not very, is not good and we must um, put ourselves in a good 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 time kan. lah good mm-hmm. time good place mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. so um, okay uh, next questions about the changes and innovations in the in this industry i think this industry has been uh, long mm-hmm. uh, in uh, uh, yeah and then um, it's it's face changes mm-hmm. and it has innovation so what Betul. is changes and innovations uh, you most excited about Okay, so I rasa Syahira dah share tadi yang I'm very excited about AI uh-huh, How yeah. AI going to shape the takaful and insurance industry in future I'm also excited about the digitalization I think the pandemic has, you know, has um, boost. boost Yeah, yeah boost <laughs> macam booster kan gitu Untuk uh, digitalization ni And um, actually macam ada hikmah lah kan pandemik yeah, ni maksudnya uh, mungkin kalau tak ada pandemik ni digitalization ni mungkin ambil masa lagi 10 tahun mm, tapi betul. dengan pandemik ni uh, dia dipercepatkan dalam masa 2 tahun banyak benda dah uh, online dan sebagainya lah and yep again AI and digitalization lah I'm very excited to see how we use AI for fraud, wastage, abuse, detection uh, how we use AI for claims processing, underwriting claims, mm-hmm. uh, underwriting uh, decision, uh, benda-benda macam tu lah. Yeah, I think that that's, that would be interesting mm-hmm. to see lah. It's actually augment the current mm. process that we have. Mm. Right? So, um, okay. So, um, kita ada, if we have uh, more questions from the audience. No questions. Okay. So, uh, doctor. Oh, okay. We we do have. Okay. Um, but, uh, this is uh, about your okay. personal questions. Lah. So, do you, don't you miss to work in the hospital? Uh, I give on, uh, honest answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, honest answer, not not for now. Not for now. Uh, mungkin di masa hadapan kita tak tahulah kan. Tapi for now, I really enjoy working in Daka, uh, Takaful, in ProBSN and uh, masa depan tak 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 pasti lagi kan tapi uh, i think there's a lot of things that i want to learn i want mm-hmm. to explore in the insurance and takaful industry lah so uh, belum lagi buat masa sekarang <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, i think we it is such a fruitful discussion with you uh, i think masa dah mencemburui kita doktor so before i wrap up do you have any last uh, words to the audience. Okay. Terima kasih banyak-banyak kepada Cik Nurul Syahira. Okay. Uh, okay. Moderator Thanks. yang cantik pada hari ini. <laughs> okay. Dan juga tim MII yang ada di lokasi sekarang dan juga MII sendiri sebab telah mengundang saya. I'm very honoured to be here dan uh, insyaAllah hopefully the session today eh, Syahira will be beneficial to everyone uh, yang uh, apa ni, yang tengah menonton lah di, di luar sana dan kalau boleh like dan share uh, video ni uh, supaya ramai-ramai mendapat banyak pengetahuan lah tentang uh, careers doktor dalam bidang insurans dan takaful. Okay, excellent doctor. Thank you so much uh, for being with us today Dr. Hajar. Thank you. Prudential BSN Takaful. Thank you guys for uh, asking questions and join us until the end of this talk show. We have another uh, Discovery Insurance show. You can get the information via our social media, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and Instagram. So um, I think I can end uh, this talk show. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum. Bye.